and from Tamales moved to the Volta region and over 200 people have been rendered homeless at Agaveji in the Ketu South municipality when they were hit by intense tidal waves last weekend. Residents blame the situation on the abandonment of the sea defense project by Amandi Company Limited. Fiji. It's a fishing community with a population of over 2,000 people. The community over the years have been threatened with continuous heavy tidal waves that had washed away hundreds of their houses and property running into hundreds of Ghana cities. Many of them are now sleeping in the open whilst others seek refuge with friends and family members. Some of the houses are in the sea, already in the sea. So we are calling the present government aides to come and help the natives. The Sea Defence Project, which started over a year ago, was to protect the people of Agafeji, Blekusu and Adina, all coastal communities in the South Municipality, from intense tidal waves. The Senior Divisional Chief of the Agafeji Traditional Area, Togbui Akrika Fuchakbosewo IV, says their main concern is the Sea Defence Project by Amandi company limited which has been abandoned nature is punishing us through the invasion of the sea they eroded lots of our buildings our children haven't got place to stay and moreover they contacted a Madi company to come and construct growing growing about 32 from the person right down to Adina but they have not reached anywhere before we vacated their work. Assemblyman of the area said government must expedite action by ensuring the construction firm Amandi Company Limited returns to site for completion of the project. I appeal on the government to come to our aid, to come and continue this project for us, President Nana, especially our MP, to put pressure on the people to come and do this thing. Whatever is going on against the Amandi Company about this project, they should make sure that they come here and to complete the work for us.